be agreed to, and I call the honourable member for Robertson. Thanks, Deputy Speaker. And I rise in this place today to put on record my deep thanks and gratitude to hundreds of local people on the Central Coast who are a huge part of the recent federal election win. It is with their help that uh, I have the privilege to remain as the local member and continue to be able to serve the great and wonderful community of Robertson on the Central Coast. And I think all members would agree that we really can't do our job as an MP alone and that those who join our campaign efforts play such a very important role. So to Sylvia Lee, I want to thank you for everything that you do day in and day out to help not only me in my campaign, but people right across the Central Coast. Sylvia has given so much of her time to help in the office, to man pre-poll, answer the phones, hand deliver mail, help with door knocking, anything that is required. She's always the first one at an early morning train station at 5.30 a.m. despite living more than an hour's drive away, and she spent many a late night helping to stuff envelopes, and she's the best on the phone. I know that in the whirlwind of a campaign it can sometimes feel that you're a small cog in a big wheel, but people like Sylvia are the cogs that make everything happen. Our campaign would not have been the same without the enormous effort and commitment of Sylvia. I'm lucky to have a great campaign committee led by FEC President Sam Giddings. Sam's not only an experienced campaigner and friend, but he helps make sure everything runs smoothly and he has some of the best eyes for detail that I've ever, I've, I've ever met. To our Treasurer, Godfrey France, I thank you. Godfrey is a diligent treasurer and he works tirelessly throughout the campaign, in fact year in and year out, and he's a great asset to our team. To Simon Levy, thank you for your work, especially going above and beyond, whether it be helping put together A-frames, put up posters or booth boxes. To the fabulous POS or Liz Reynolds, who is not only a great friend, but a wonderful and key member of our team, I thank you. Liz is always around to introduce me to new people that she's met or to help plan a function, including our election night, uh, our election night celebration, and she's an outstanding host. To our entire FEC, thank you from the bottom of my heart. To Jack Wilson, Lorraine and Rob Adams, Ian Medlicott, Tim Rolls, Anne and Brian Robertson, Tony and Sharon Gardner, John and Doreen Johnson, Jim Stevenson, Steve Homan, Veronica Cusack, Bob and Judy Welch, Anne and Don McKay, Quentin and Jan Anthony, Jerry Cerulli, John, Don Ferrier, Terry Morris, Caroline Miller, Julie Pym, John and Pam Collins, Paul Starr, Barbara Whitaker, Irene Dunn, Anne Lyon, Lindsay Cunningham, Jared Wright, Jared uh, Harvey Thompson, Zach O'Farrell, Rhiannon and Beckers, Jake Bright, Paul Humber, Paul Monks, Mike Hornsey, thank you. Our victory would not have been possible without the best staff and the best electorate officer in the country. And so I do want to thank my team, Richard, Denise, Beck, Liam, Lane, Josh, Sylvia and Julie, and I will speak about them at a later hour. To Prime Minister Scott Morrison, the member for Hume, Angus Taylor, member for Mitchell, Alex Hawke, member for Bradfield, Paul Fletcher, the Honourable Scott, uh, Scott Farlow, MLC, and my friend, member for Terrigal, Adam Crouch, thank you for your friendship and your time. To the Honourable Taylor Martin, MLC, you really did go above and beyond, as you always do, to help with our campaign. And whenever you needed it we needed it most, you were always there. I really can't think of a person that I'd rather be in the trenches with than you and to have on my side. And I just want to say thank you because you've shown an ability to be a true leader in our community and in the parliament, but you've also shown true leadership by working behind the scenes to do whatever is required to get a job done whether that be late nights stuffing envelopes or driving down the F3 at a moment's notice to collect campaign material. I thank you for your backing, your friendship and in your support, and I look forward to repaying it in spades as we embark upon a new term of government at both a federal and a state level to continue delivering and building for our local community. I also want to take a moment, Deputy Speaker, to thank my beautiful friend and colleague, Jilly Pillen, who really did an outstanding job in Dobell. She is a great friend, of mine, but also of every single person in our community. Julie's got a heart bigger than the ocean and she did a remarkable job given the limited time and the resources that she had. As with any campaign, there are challenges and Julie not only rose to these challenges each and every time, but she exceeded expectations. So to Todd Kirby, who was, uh, an, who was an incredible friend to both of us, an incredible friend to people here on the Central Coast and an outstanding campaigner, to Brendan Rogers and the entire Dobell campaign team. Thank you for the way in which you supported Jilly. Deputy Speaker, it's only because of these people and more that I have got the privilege of being able to be back in this place to serve my community, to speak up for the constituents of the Central Coast and to seek to build a better tomorrow than what we have today. Because people in my community matter. People's hopes, dreams and aspirations really matter. And 
with the support of the Morrison government, I will work each and every day to seek to continue to build those and to realise the hope and potential of my region.